friends and friendly subscribers welcome back to my channel this is Ina here tarot and today we're going to do a video of this quite anticipated uh, mass market oracle deck called the rooted woman oracle by sharon blackie artworks by hannah willow so let's see the box itself is really beautiful i think if i should guess this is made in china yeah it's printed in china and wow but the box is really really beautiful and it has like this continuous landscape in it and some uh, pattern the celtic pattern so let's see what it's about the rooted woman oracle based on an old myth and folk tales, folk tales of europe in which women are the guardians of the natural world the bearers of wisdom and the root of spiritual and moral authority for the community it offers a heroine journey to a sense of rootedness and belonging to this beautiful animate earth okay so this sharon blackie is a psychologist and my mythologist so i think she write a lot of mythos story already and hannah willow is an artist okay that is cool let's see the guidebook it should be the same feeling so there's a visualization app interesting there's the text so there is different the contents is introduction to the hearing journey oracle decks as alien guide okay to introducing yourself to the deck there's different spreads suit one places allies okay journey and focus card beautiful there's poetry okay born from a book if woman rose rooted Nonfiction work published in 2016. Echo Heroine Journey. Okay. So that's really beautiful. So this is, I think, a lot of um, the deck kind of touch upon uh, this theme of the, um, the, uh, the arising feminine qualities within people and it's very interesting because it's taken from uh, the celtic uh, take i think a lot of uh, artists now or the mythos or the psychologists took a lot of celtic um, ideas for some reason and they take it in a very interesting way at least in the uh, uk and it's very resonating because um, one part of the Celtic lore is uh, very deeply rooted in the uh, UK culture. So I think it's um, an exciting time actually um, to be learning this particular culture. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Enjoy the flip through. Well, the source of life so a lot of places like this in the uk as well in the ancient kind of like church or like pagan places if you go to glastonbury there's a famous one uh the chalice well it's really beautiful and yeah it's it felt very celtic to me island okay this is really beautiful also it reminds me of this cave in ireland feeling it's beautiful bug stagnation oh, it's really beautiful with the fox this is spring and you see like in the uk we have a lot of this with the horses on the side of the hill it's beautiful the mountain it's 
this is also felt very UK a lot of places like this oh look at that such beautiful beautiful art actually look this is like the Loch, Loch Ness messy feeling And this is like in the white cliffs actually, although it's not white. Yeah, if you go to woodlands in the UK, even in London, in Hampstead Heath, you can still see this kind of feeling in Hampstead Heath. It's very beautiful. Oh, look, with the badger, it's so beautiful. Yeah, this is a cairn, uh, this is a portal um, in, in Newgrange, I think, in Ireland, if I'm not wrong. And um, the sun is always hit here when it's equinoxes. Fisher Kings or Court. There's a legend about the ki Fisher Kings. I forgot the, the real story. Oh, look, she bring offering during the new moon. Wow, look at the quality of shape shift. Very beautiful. Selkie. So this is a Selkie. I think it's a story in uh, Canada something like this uh, Selki is um, kind of a mythical being uh, that she can fly and uh, while fly she will shed this skin if I'm not wrong okay if I'm wrong like please correct me wow okay that one it's beautiful I think Ellen, if I'm not wrong, is the um, the equivalent of Diana. There is a place in London also that dedicated to her actually, undergroundly. Yeah, I know. Wow, it's so beautiful. It's very shamanic feeling, Shilanagik. Oh, I was like looking at inside. This is all definitely um, the Celtic myth story. I don't know who this is. Old woman of dreams like a spider woman in uh, South America um, mythical stories actually the old woman of dreams with the idea of dream catcher you know very merry wow who is this woman Morrigan Beautiful, this deck. I love this idea of the labyrinth to go into your brain. Cool. This is really looks like Glastonbury in one of the well. It's really like this. It's a very beautiful place also to go. You can swim in it, you can bathe in it. 
I wonder what is the story of this one with the temptation. Yeah, the shape shifting. Wow, this is beautiful. Huh? It makes me feel like the movie Avatar, but the first one, you know, with the trees and they're connecting in here. It's beautiful. This is the back of the deck. So, yeah, I really like this deck. Um, and there is some of the obviously because i'm not familiar with the um the celtic mysteries celtic stories so i'm i'm not really familiar with the name of the characters that is um said it in here for example the uh oh that's the grail like uh, bnc i don't know if i even um butchered her name the morrigan things like that i really love the idea of learning who are these um archetypes are from the celtic lore and myth uh i think it's a good idea for me to learn because it's also not so many of the characters the other part is like a different element here like places you know so it's good for me to be familiarized and somehow I felt connected with the land here uh, since I started to learn um, the Celtic myth, you know, the Celtic notes. And I do things in, in their culture as well, uh, in a pagan ways. Um, I enjoy it, you know. So, yeah. So the shuffle also seems okay. The card is okay. It's not bowing. So uh, the card stock it's not bad at all for like um mass market deck you know it's um it doesn't feel too plasticky uh, basically it's not too hard and it's not too uh shuffly as well which is i think for a mass market deck is a really good idea to have and as we shuffle shuffle nicely also let's see what does this deck want to say to you, my friends and friendly subscribers, if you so to choose to work with this deck, what kind of energy that they want to work with you? Let's ask. Feel this one. Oh, so many energies. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, the energy of meadow. So this is perfect for spring if you want to use it. To root it yourself to start rooting um something that you like to do you see like this bunny she's uh, like the empress energy very productive but she's also not um straight away go into any flower she's thinking about which flower that she needs to go to and you know she's very complicated uh compli com contemplative this uh small bunny and she's thinking what seeds I need to um, put down in the grass next. What am I going to grow into? It's beautiful. And then what energy? The energy of the island, boundedness and isolation. So maybe when you feel down, when you feel alone or something like that, and you feel like have this, um, this is for message for star seeds. If you feel like the calling of your home planet because the whale also have like this frequency with the um, atlantis maybe listen to the whale song to feel connected again star seeds okay so what is the third energy the energy of the cave incubation yeah and it's right down on the um next to the meadow 
so it felt like it felt like you need to think about things really deeply this thing yeah this is like help you to plan to plan what kind of um what kind of seeds you want to go right and then the well the source of life oh i'm not shuffling really well because it's all a sense of place maybe the follower of this channel needs to do pilgrimage um in the spring or something like that because it's all just like cards of places one more if we still you see like still places see plumbing with the death or there's like matcha strength and endurance so yeah i mean if you need to go to pilgrimage to a lot of places first of all you will need your strength to go around to these places and then you need like financial strength to help you finance all of your travel right and then you have to carry yourself and make sure that you're healthy during your travels and um let's just read what this matcha means because in rws uh, tarot it means a death card number 13 what is this one who is this person ah it's like a fairy wife Oster and Merhem Allah she forbidden to him to tell anyone about her. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. You overcome. The strength of women and our capacity of endurance in the face of pain. Okay, so that's it. To, yeah, to endure the hardship basically from all of the time as well. It will be over and also in the pilgrimage to make sure you have the endurance to do the travel. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, it's a very short video today. I hope you enjoy it though. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment because that's the fastest way for you to enable me to keep on doing this type of video, unboxing, review. And if you like it, um, yeah, you can also suggest actually, what do you want me to uh, review as well? If I can find it in the UK, then I will certainly try to do it okay so that's it and i hope you have a great day and night anytime you watch this video and please do have a good time bye bye